Hey, this is Robbie, and I am at MD Anderson Hospital right here in Houston, Texas. And uh, if you can see behind me, the time is about 1.15. Today's uh, November uh, 28th. And um, just 24 hours ago, my cousin Bernadette was on the operating table. Uh, before then, the doctors had told her, you know, they were going to have to, uh, you know, they were going to be removing a cancerous tumor uh, that was around her neck and, you know, just, you know, uh, they were going to have to cut around her, cut some of the vocal cords, cut, definitely cut an artery that was around her neck and possibly, you know, put her through a stroke. And in fact, they said she would have a stroke. And, um, but, um, you know, there were a lot of prayer warriors out there praying for Bernadette. Um, you know, just lifting her up, and uh, there's a there's a verse in Jeremiah that says, "Call upon me, and I'll show you great and mighty things, things you do not know." And uh, sure enough, we got to see that yesterday. Um, so the doctors came in, and they were astounded. Uh, they even said, yeah, "This is from above; a miracle happened." And uh, that's the only way that uh, what they were you know able to accomplish what was going to be a long operation only took um, uh, a little over four hours to do and uh, she came out of the operating table at two o'clock and guess what this is my cousin Bernadette right here doing extremely well Hello. and uh, Bernadette how do you feel today I feel great I feel great I have no stroke I'll be able to go home tomorrow I feel great Wow and thanks to God he did this for me and what did the doctors tell you before going me, in they told me they were gonna have to probably remove my artery my, uh, my half of my vocal cords that I would definitely have a stroke because of the artery cutting uh, I would probably have to be hoarse be hoarse talking because of my vocal cords being removed so they said it was up to me if I wanted to go to the surgery and I said yes I still did and this is how I came out Wow, doing uh -huh. great, doing great. And they were pretty astounded, I guess, Yes, right? they were. They were just real happy. They asked me to move my arms, make sure I could move all my, all my arms and everything, and legs. So I did that for them, and they were just like high-fiving everything. So. <laughs> <laughs> wow. It was great. And I know you had a prayer warrior way over here, your mama. And anything special going on that day? I mean, yes. what was it like? It was, it was very sad, and I was very crying and everything because what the doctor has said before she went in and I just couldn't believe it but I always knew there was a God up there to be with her I mean to be with the doctor when the doctor came out and told us all about her and how she was and they were so happy and then I told the doctor myself I said when you were cutting my daughter God's hands were with you and he said and he said you're right. You're absolutely right. And he came and gave me a big old hug uh -huh. and kissed me. Wow. And it was something great that I could hear. Then I went back there to see her. She was just the way you see her right now. That's the way she was when she got operated. When she got out of the operating room. Wow. Thank you, God. Thank you, God. And that's an awesome testimony. And fun. one of the things I was, tell, I was sharing with them, it's funny how you can, you, if you look at the word testimony, you, you break it up. It's test. I'm on why and why you know it's a test I'm on why to give glory to God and he certainly pulled her through this and if any of you are in a similar situation and feel like God's oh, time to throw in the towel it's 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 too late it's never too late with God Wow, what a great testimony we just heard from Bernadette. I mean, this is somebody that, you know, was told by doctors, there's nothing else we can do. Um, you know, but she's gone through chemotherapy. There's nothing else that we can do. I mean, surgery uh, is just highly unlikely. Finally, the doctors say, okay, you know, it's shrunk a little bit. Maybe we can do something. But still, we're going to have to cut through your vocal cords. You're going to talk very raspy. Um you know, we're, we are going to go ahead and we're going to have to cut a an artery and you will go through a stroke. And um, or the alternative is, you know, if things go wrong, you're going to pass away. You know, and um, they even the doctors tried to talk her out of even uh, considering. I mean, they asked her yesterday, are you sure you want to go through with this? Well, lo and behold, none of that stuff happened. Instead of needing three surgeons, there was only one that was needed. And uh, instead of it being a lengthy operation, it was only four hours. 
So, uh, you know, where people were saying it's just a matter of time. I mean, it's a matter of time when we pass away, but, in, you know, instead of giving her months or weeks, you know, it's not on the doctor's timetable. It's on God's timetable. And maybe you know somebody that's going through a similar situation and they're about ready to throw the towel in. They're about to give up hope and, you know, things just look really bad. I don't know how we're going to get through this. I don't know if I'm going to make it through. Well, you know what? We serve a mighty God and he can get you through this. And if uh, that's you or you know somebody that's looking uh, for prayer, we'd love to talk with you and pray with you and uh, share a great testimony and show you what God's doing in our lives and, and what he can be doing in your life. And so uh, with that, um, you know, I want to thank you for taking a look at this video. Again, Bernadette, thank you for sharing your testimony. We love you.